Hi, I'm Robert Denlecker. I'm a freshman at Newton South, and I cook. So how did you get into food? I mean, food's been something that I've I've loved and I've been around my entire life. Like I've been, I've been even cooking my entire life, and I've been eating even longer than that. And so when I had the opportunity to start to start cooking, I did. I just kind of ran with it. When did you start your career as a chef in a professional kitchen? Uh, I started about uh, three years ago now, when I was 12 years old. I was in the sixth grade. I'm definitely using this clip of you struggling to take peas out of the sea water. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even peas. So where do you work now? I work right now at the Kirkland Tap and Trotter. I've, uh, before that, I worked for the, uh, the same man, Tony Moss, at uh, Craigie on Main for about two and a half years. So what was your first uh, experience cooking in a professional environment? My first experience cooking, I made... Um, I'd, I'd been a cook at Craigie for about six months when I finally started to, um, you know, started train on the line, you know, as, as a real cook rather than just being downstairs in the prep, pre uh, downstairs in the basement prepping. And so the first thing I remember making was our, was our hash, this, like awesome, like braised beef tongue, braised beef cheek, potatoes and celery root and onions and carrot, and it was just all, it was cooked out. And, to this really awesome, flavorful hash. So, what is it like working in a professional kitchen as a high schooler? It's a, uh, it's not for the faint of heart. I mean, it's it's a difficult environment to be around. It's a pretty intense environment to be around. I mean, there's yelling, shouting, but when it comes down to it, if you're passionate and you have and you have the knack for it, you have the talent, you have the drive, then you can do it. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, ah. uh, so what's your cooking career as a whole been like, just from when the time you were very young? I mean, honestly, up until three years ago, it was just cooking at home, uh, cooking for my parents, cooking for my friends occasionally. But now it's really sort of exploded, and I'm, I've started to, uh, to host pop-up dinners at various Boston restaurants. Um, I've got one on April 26th and then one on June 14th. Um, that's, that's really exciting, it's really huge for someone my age to be able to take over a restaurant and lead an entire business for a night. Yeah. So what are those going to be like? Um, hopefully it's going to be about 30 or 40 people at each one and they're going to come in and just enjoy, enjoy my food for the night. And, allow me to take them on this sort of like, journey through my personality on a plate. Do you have a menu planned for either of them? Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> it's, a lot of my food's really been heavily influenced by Tony and both by Craigie and Kirkland. And so, there's lots of uh, big, bold flavors. Uh, meats, but also there's delicate, delicate vegetables in each menu, and especially I think that's especially fitting with the season, considering the winter we've had, and now we're going into a, a kind of a, a beautiful spring. So it's, it's a menu that's sort of right in the middle of those two seasons. S K Arriba, Noah. It's, it's what's up? Yeah. Uh, can you give some examples of some of the courses you might serve? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, one dish that I'm really excited about for my uh, pop on the 26th in Somerville is uh, a ragu of snow peas and English peas with roasted mushrooms of ideally onion jam, a coddled egg, and crispy pig's trotters. I think that's going to be really delicious. It's very, it's very spring, but also it has these sort of savory rich elements. So one of the pop-ups is happening right here in Newton at 51 Lincoln, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's a funny story, actually, um, but how we sort of came to do this. Uh, I was walking home from the bus one day, and you know, I've, I've always seen 51 Lincoln, and I've gone to eat there uh, a few times, and it's always been really good. And so I decided to stop in and talk to a manager uh, or talk to the chef about maybe doing doing a pop up because I've been eating into it recently, and I think it's a really good 
way for me to get a start in the industry and for me to show people around Newton what I can do, especially at 15 years old being a freshman. Oh, it's like a happy face.